everyone, my name is China and I am coming to you from my YouTube channel, That Girl China. Um, I'm uploading actually my very first video, so if you see me um, sweating profusely, it is because I'm super nervous. Um, but I decided that after watching so many others like Kathy Donovan, um, Thrifty Tiffany, Pookie's View, and all their wonderful hauls and their mutual love of Dollar Tree, I wanted to join in on all the fun and also share my love of Dollar Tree. And um, with my channel, what I plan on doing is incorporating um, Dollar Tree items into decor and how to use those in a um, high-end way. Um, and additionally, what I want to do is create really cool gift baskets um, and provide you guys with some gift basket creating ideas using only Dollar Tree products. Um, and as well, of course, we're going to be sharing the hauls. So um, the gentleman in the background here, that's my dog, Charlie. And um, so he's going to be joining us on today's video. Um, without further ado, I'm going to start my haul. And at the end of the video, I'm going to put together a um, unicorn theme inspired gift basket, um, in which I will be using in a future giveaway when I hit a thousand subscribers. So without further ado, we're going to move forward with the haul which I've taken the liberty of separating into, um, de I guess, departments or um, aisles or categories, so to speak. So let's get to that. So starting with my first um, bag, um, I'm gonna be showing you guys some home products that I found or things that you can use around the house. Hopefully these are things that you will like and find um, use in your home as well. So my first item here is going to be the scarf hanger. Um, what I started noticing is that we um, have been collecting quite a few scarves, which makes absolutely no sense because we live in a very hot and humid climate. Um, however, we were planning a trip to Colorado here in the um, coming winter season. Um, and for those rare occasions where it's actually cold enough to wear a scarf in Houston, I decided to pick these up. So these are actually two separate ones that I purchased. Um, but it looks like it's um, divided into compartments and they, these do come in a variety of colors. But as you can see, I have a lot of uh, green, black, white in my home, so I went with the green. Now, what I wanted to do is I have a collection of scarves that I've purchased for my sons um, over the years. And I wanted to get all these scarves, these really pretty scarves hanging in a very organized way in that closet. So that's what I plan on doing with that. Um, so I thought these were really cute. Um, additionally, I am a huge, huge fan of Dollar Tree socks. I love to get their socks. And I saw these two packs, which are really cute. And I have worn these before. They're very cushiony at the bottom, so they do offer that support. Um, this is coming in a two pack with yellow um, and the foot part and the heel. And then a solid yellow sock, which I really, really liked. Really cheerful color. Um, and these, um, I'm not sure if they're wearing party hats or nightcaps, but I found some with the turtles. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're so cute. Hopefully my camera is focusing here. Um, I thought these were so adorable and I couldn't resist their charm. So needless to say, I bought them. They also come in a two pack with a stripe in the back, but I thought these were so cute. How to get them. Don't really need them, but yeah. When does that stop this? I also purchased, um, now this was bought in the hardware section. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of people haul these. Um, so it's a little storage container, plastic. But what I really liked about it is that it snaps really tight. Um, and I have a lot of earrings, um, especially like studs and small earrings. And it was getting to where um, I was having a lot of trouble containing them or storaging them. And so I bought four or five of these, I believe it was five. Um, which includes this one that I haven't used just yet, but also for rings. Um, it's a really good idea because um, additionally I have a lot of rings. Um, but I thought this was really cute and it does work for, you know, if you have tools, of course, um, beads, things of that sort. A lot of small items that you'd like to store. My son uses them for computer parts because um, he builds computers. Um, so this is something that he liked. Again, you can find this in the tool bench section or the hardware section of your Dollar Tree. Um, another great find that I um, found in the tooth or dental care item was these electric toothbrushes. 
Now this one I have in blue, hopefully you guys can see that, and it does come with its own battery. Um, so it is an, uh, battery power toothbrush. Now we haven't used these yet and I did buy these for my sons and one for me as well. They do come in a variety of colors. Um, so I'm really excited to try to use these and um, see how well they work. Um, I'll do a follow up video and let you guys know um, if they actually work really well or not. It says here that it massages and simulates gums, cleans between teeth, and it's in a vibrating motion. So we'll see how these turn out. But you should be able to find these in your dental hygiene section. Um, so I thought this was a really good deal. I mean, electric toothbrush for a buck, really can't beat it. Um, there's also these beautiful hair clips that I found. Um, I liked it because they kind of had like a marble um, print on them. And you know, it's really hot in the summer. There's times you just want to pull your hair back. Um, and I really like the prints. There was kind of like a pink and a green. And the bottom one is kind of like a beigey brown marble granite kind of look to it. I just thought they were really pretty. Three clips for a buck. You can't beat it. Um, and these are also were picked up this week. Maybe you'll see. So I know they also had them in some uh, other colors like blue. Um, I did not pick those up, but they do have other options as well. And so another item that I picked up was kind of like this wood grain print of, um, I guess it's like vinyl top liner or contact paper that you use um, for your cabinets. Now I did recently, um, and we're in the process actually of uh, remodeling, redecorating our house. So we had all our cabinets um, painted and I use these to line the cabinets. So I thought the print was really pretty. It's kind of got like a wood grain um, and I just really like that because I really like um, neutrals in my bathroom. And so I thought this was a really good deal. And of course, you know how the ladies love the lashes. Um, I found these by LA Colors. It's called Dramata Lash. And these are going to be 980. The name of the lashes is Demure. And I just really like the length of them. I think they're, they are dramatic, but not overly dramatic that I couldn't wear them to the office when I go to work. So I thought these were really cute. Um, they do not come with the glue, but I did uh, purchase the glue separately in a prior haul. I also found this um, neutral color. Um, it's called It's Perfect. It also is by LA Colors and this is going to be a, um, a lip liner. So it does come in a really light neutral color. I did take the liberty of already trying it out. Um, it's most definitely like like nude so if you're looking for a very very light color hopefully it will show up on camera I will do a swatch here for you um, it's pretty light let's see if you guys can see that um, but that's the color right there um, it's a pretty light neutral color um, and again it's called uh, CBAL957 it's perfect and it's by LA colors so that's the packaging there so let's throw that away Additionally, I um, picked up some eyeshadow. It's a 12 color case of eyeshadows. Um, the color is Chic, CBEP420. Um, it's LA Colors. And I also have taken the liberty of sampling this. I am wearing the eyeshadow um, right now because um, I'm a big fan of purple eyeshadow. And I also read somewhere that purple eyeshadow brings out the brown in your eyes if you have brown eyes. So that's what that is. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, so light is really reflecting, but it comes with 12 uh, different shades. Again, the color Chic, or is the name of the, um, the uh, set here. Um, and it's, it has really good uh, color. It, you know, you don't really have to um, apply layer upon layer or build color. Um, so it did come out really well with the first few, so I was really impressed with that, especially for a dollar. Now these, um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen hauls, which are going to be kind of these gourd shaped, or not sure exactly on the shape, but I just thought they were so cute. Now they do come in um, a light ivory white. There was also a very faint uh, green or mint color and a light slate gray. Um, but I just thought this was so cute. 
Um, it looks like something you would get at maybe um, Urban Outfitters or Anthropology. Um, something you could also find it maybe at home. Um, and I just thought it was so cute I couldn't resist it. I got it in every color and I've already used it in my decor in this bedroom. I set it on top of um, some books in my um, TV stand and we also used one in the living room, their built-in bookshelf. And I gifted one to my sister and I plan on using this in a giveaway as well because I think it's so cute. And you can always add, you know, maybe small flowers but also could just set it on top of like a set of books and I think it would look really great in a bookshelf. Um, or something like that. So there's an idea for you. Now, another thing that I hauled at the Dollar Tree were these reusable bags, these tote bags. Um, I like them because I, I really, really like the color green. As you can tell, I have a lot of green in my bedroom. It's actually my second favorite color. Um, but also I felt like it kind of looked like the design that's in the logo of Dollar Tree and it helps with how I'm not having to bring home all those plastic bags to your house um, so I bought about seven of these I just thought they were really cute and they do fit what the average bag at Dollar Tree would you know the plastic throwaway bags would use so pretty good size you can't beat it for a dollar so let's move on to um, some additional like kitchen items so first thing up are these um, this two pack of cups. I really really like these um, It comes in with two they include a lid and what I like about these cups is they are microwavable and dishwasher safe and that lid really snaps on tightly um, And I like putting my coffee in here every morning um, before I head off to the office and for two for a dollars You can't beat it. Additionally, it has really cute sayings on it. I have seen some other haulers show the um, the fall ones, which I've been on the lookout for. I haven't seen them at my stores yet. There's about five different stores that I visit that are in my immediate area, but here's that one here. Um, I've got three or four different sets of these now. I really like to get a hold of the fall ones, so I will be on the lookout for those. But again, dishwasher and microwave safe, and that lid really snaps on tightly so you don't have to worry about spillage um, and I just think they're really cute you know um, cute change drink, drinking from normal boring cups you know something else that I found at the Dollar Tree which I thought were really cute were these funnel cake mixes so I picked up two um, I thought these were a really good idea for dessert in our household and you guys have probably seen this. I'm sorry for the reflection and the lighting, but it is, um, I do need it today as it's like overcast because it looks like it wants to rain. Um, so I thought these were really um, interesting, thought of a good idea. And who doesn't love funnel cake, right? Now, of course, when you have funnel cake, you have to have confectioner sugar. So of course, Dollar Tree does carry confectioner sugar and regular sugar, but I went ahead and picked this up so that when we do make the uh, funnel cake, we'll have that um, confectioner sugar that powdered sugar for um, to top it off with and you can also use it on French toast of course and I found this really cute um, magnet that says teamwork makes a dream work trying to get that reflection out of there but that's it right here and I just like the color scheme um, and I thought it had a really cute saying would look cute on the refrigerator so that's what that is and I found these beautiful glasses. Um, so they're like juice glasses. So I bought a set of six for our dining table. I thought they were really pretty. Um, so I got a set of six of these and I thought they were really pretty. Would add um, color, pop of color to our dining table. I do like to have my dining table set up. Um, and I'll send photos of that once I finished it. Again, we're redecorating. So we're not quite finished yet. Um, I have completed my bedroom, but I'm still working on um, other rooms of the house. So once that's done, I'll make sure to upload a picture of that. But I thought these were really pretty. And um, they also had it in taller glasses, but I went after the juice glass. So I got six of those. Okay, so let's move on to these beautiful gift bags that I found. 
It's always good to pick up gift bags because you never know when you're going to be um, invited to a party, someone announces an engagement, um, you have an upcoming birthday, uh, someone gets a promotion at work. Um, there's always going to be a reason to celebrate. And so I picked up these really pretty gift bags. Um, Dollar Tree has really, really stepped it up over the past couple years with um, their gift bags amongst so many other items. Um, but I just, they look really high end and I just really think that they're really pretty. Um, so this is the first stop that I go to when we're looking for gift bags just because they have such a large variety and they look really um, high end, like something you would get at like a, a Home Goods, you would get it at a Target. And I just thought they were really cute. So this is going to be my first one. I like the geometric print with the triangles and the blush pink background color. And I also like the little tag that it came with. I thought that was really cute. And this one's kind of neutral. You can use it for different occasions. Now this one, what sold me on this one, well, not only the floral print, but I like the little tag that it came with. I thought it was so adorable. Um, this one is going to be like a pink floral print. And look at that little tag up there. Is that not the cutest? Um, it's kind of hard to distinguish because it's sticking to the back, but there it is. But that was so pretty, and I like the soft, um, like a mint green color on it for the ribbon. And I just thought it was a really pretty bag. You can use this for... Um, uh, spring birthday, uh, baby girl baby shower, um, a wedding gift. Um, I just thought it was really pretty. Here's going to be the side of it. It's got kind of like a polka dot here. And again, here's the bag. Now the back does not have the glittering detail that the front does, but I think, still think it's really pretty. Now this one you guys have probably seen before, but again, it's such a pretty bag couldn't pass it up. Another good idea with these is if you really like the print, you could frame them because they're so beautiful. Um, this one's saying Hello Gorgeous. It's got this tropical leaf print. And for those of you that are big fans of the Golden Girls as I am, this kind of gives me the Golden Girls vibe to it. I think it was a really pretty bag as well. Now the back doesn't have that metallic detail, but still beautiful bag would look really pretty if it was framed and that's going to be your side there just thought that was so cute now this one oh my god it's to die for i love it i love this really really cute print this geometric print here and then you got kind of like a marbling in the back of this beautiful purple color thought this was so cute um again this is kind of like a universal one there's so many things you could use this for uh, really pretty bag. I love the sparkle detail in it. Just thought it was so pretty. And again, this could be framed. I mean, you could use it as a backdrop, maybe put in um, matting and a photo in the center. And I think that would look really cute. And again, for craft, people that are into crafting, you crafters out there, probably could find a thousand different things to do with this beautiful um, gift bag. I mean, I think it's so cute and so high-end looking. I mean, could you totally not see this at Target? I know, right? So cute. A dollar. Hello. Can't beat it. Now, as mentioned earlier in my video, um, that I was going to be making um, a gift basket um, using all Dollar Tree products. So I picked up this shrink wrap from the Dollar Tree. Um, it says it comes with a bow. I haven't really explored the option of the bow here, um, but you use, basically you use it to wrap your gift basket and then a blow dryer to shrink it around that basket and so i'm going to be using this for the gift basket that i mentioned and then i'll send um or i'll upload the photos at the end of this video haul for you guys to see how it came out um uh, i went with the theme of a um uh, what is it unicorn for you know little girls when i was a little girl um i was a huge huge fan of horses and unicorns and pegasus and um so i thought that that would be a really good idea um, to make one of those and then again I'm gonna be um, giving it away or using it a giveaway once I hit the thousand subscriber mark so that's something to look out for and as I previously mentioned um, a little hot around the collar here since this is my first video so if you'll bear with me why do my little blotting don't want to look sweaty on camera um, so now last items that I hauled 
um, are tying into that gift basket that I mentioned. So I, basically what I did is I went through the store and I looked for anything and everything that was related to unicorns, horses, Pegasus. And so I'm going to show you all the items that I found out. Not all of them will necessarily be used in the gift basket. I'm going to um, pick and choose from these. Um, if I were to use everything, the total um, cost of the gift basket would be roughly about $28. Um, but we'll, uh, I'll play with the different items and see what works best. And we will show that at the end of the video. And you can always save the leftovers for future giveaways, for stocking stuffers, and or Christmas presents. So the first thing, again, I'm sure you guys have seen this, is going to be the um, five pack of um, little, My Little Pony shaped chalk. So I've got that there. The next item is, um, it's kind of like making a pinata or maybe origami, not sure exactly how you describe it, but it's fold your own paper Fluttershy. Um, there are different kinds, so if you're kiddo or the one you're buying the gift for has a preference they did offer different ponies to choose from so there's actually um, six different types so that's going to be the back of this right here um, and as mentioned it gives you six different types I found this which is going to be a sparkle by number just peel and stick little craft set again with you guessed it unicorns let me see if I can get the cameras glare off of that so that's what that is and I found this cute little book called um, my little unicorn door hanger book I thought it was super cute and um, it's got cute little pictures of unicorns in there and you can hang this on the door there was a my little pony um, sun catcher it includes a paintbrush and paint. So that's another little item that I got there. Here's a little book with crayons attached to it. So it also includes stickers. Um, I thought this was really cute as well. So that's what that is. And then you can see there's stickers in here. And then there's pages that they can color. So I thought that was a little cute set. And of course, My Little Pony coloring books. It's got a lot of um, activities as well. So that's what that is. Thought this would be really cute to include. And I found these little um, felt cutouts. Um, not sure how I'll be incorporating them, but I thought they were really cute. Let me get the tag though, way so you guys can really see them. Um, there's in purple with the gold um, glitter or in the pink one with the gold glitter outline as well. I thought these were really cute. I'll see if I can work them into that basket. And here is a three pack of little um, coloring books. You got three different um, ponies there that are included. And I found these beautiful stickers unicorn stickers in the crafter square section i thought they were so adorable and also they're three dimensional so another little cute set there and again another coloring book my little ponies got some more stuff you'd be surprised how much unicorn stuff they had in there so if you have a unicorn lover that's the place to go so here's going to be a little um little book to write in a little journal it's got this really cute unicorn here and it's uh the page is glittery I thought that was really cute the cover another one this one says magical rainbow chaser dreamer stargazer another cute little notebook um see if this one is lined and the pages are lined so if you wanted to write in there write your little notes or use it as a diary um, and a pack of stickers. There are 96 stickers. These are going to be by Hasbro, um, the creator of My Little Pony. So that's them right there. Yes, there is more. There are more unicorn items. So I found this cute little headband, the ears, and this one came in like a green glitter, but they did have other colors. 
this My Little Pony pop-ups lollipop. I thought it was really cute to include because who doesn't like candy? Um, a miniature My Little Pony. So there's that. I thought that was really cute as well. A cup with my uh, well not My Little Pony but a unicorn on there with beautiful rainbow hair. Um, so that's where that's at. Here's the other side of that. Here's kind of like a squishy toy. It's a unicorn. Also has that rainbow hair and it just feels really good too. Grid stress reliever. Squeeze that. Okay, looks like someone came into the house. And here we have this cotton candy that's in a kind of rainbow kind of color, blues and pinks. It reminds me of unicorns for some reason, so I thought to include that. Here's a pony that comes with a hairbrush. I thought that was not also nice, including also has a crown. Flip it over, it's imported by Dollar Tree or Greenbrier products. Another little pony, little pink one. That one also comes with a little comb. You can comb her hair or his hair. And I found these um, iridescent lollipops that I thought would be really cute to include. Um, I don't know if you can see them in the packaging. Let me see if I can bring them down a little bit and then you can kind of check them out. I thought they were really pretty. And that iridescent pinks and blues and purples just really reminded me of unicorns for some reason. And then I found this cute little pen, little fuzzy pen that also for some reason it reminds me of unicorns and this can be used for them to write their little notes in their notebooks so i thought that was really cute look how cute that is and it's got a little sparkly um body here and the little topper uh oh it's shutting let's not stop playing with that okay and lastly is going to be the um items that i'm going to use to also create the gift basket which i found this really um, light purple or lavender, is it called decorative shred? So I bought two of those. So that's the second one. And um, this is going to be the bow I decided to pick to top the basket. And there are also some other items that I found that are kind of household, well, stationary related. Um, that I'm gonna include in my haul here. And I thought these were really cute and they reminded me of my bedroom. Since I have kind of like a cacti theme here, I thought these were really cute. And it says, grow where you are planted. I thought that was super cute. And these are also a green briar product. They actually come in a set. So the next item was a notepad, again with the little cactus at the bottom. And there's these puffy stickers. Grow where you're a planner. Is that not the cutest? So I don't know if I'll be giving these away or including them in a haul because they're so cute. And they so match my bedroom. I could just see them on my desk um, here in my room. I just thought they were so cute. And here you have this little set. I thought it was adorable. And I also found these. These are paper clips with tassels on them. Oh my God, is that not the cutest thing ever? Like, why? Why are you doing this to me, Dollar Tree? You know that I have to buy this. Um, it is so adorable. Whenever you're gonna find something so cute, look at the color combination that this comes in. Um, and I'm gonna show you the barcode in case you guys are looking for that. Um, but I thought these were really good if you're like journaling, um, if you're doing like a study of your Bible and you wanna kind of um, paper clip where you're leaving off. That, um, good bookmarks. I just thought they were so adorable. So cute. I had to buy them. Had to. No choice. Um, and then last but not least is going to be this pencil box. I really like the color. Um, I plan on using it for storage. Not sure right now. It might be for jewelry um, or maybe for crafting um, somewhere in my craft room because I do have a craft room. 
um, downstairs and I thought I might use it for that but I really like the color it's a really soft green color thought it was super cute so I'm gonna put this video on pause and we'll be coming back once the gift basket is ready to be revealed so thank you for joining me All right, y'all, so I'm back with the gift basket that I just completed making. So if you guys want to be entered for a chance to win this, um, if you'll hit the like and subscribe button and the bell button, and if you'll comment the word uh, unicorn, I will be giving out this basket once I hit 1,000 subscribers. Again, please like my video, please subscribe, and if you'll comment the word unicorn. So here's the completed um, gift basket. The only item I was not able to use was the um, cotton candy, but every other item did fit in here. And so it's been shrink wrapped. You got a really pretty bow there and all the items are in here. And I did forget to include this in my haul, which is this bright pink um, storage container um, that I used to put all the items in. So again, please subscribe, like my channel, That Girl China, and please comment the word unicorn. Thank you for joining me. See you guys next time. Believe me when we're